I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on exam review. This video, especially for my students who have final exam tomorrow. We'll take up 10 questions today. We'll review all we have learned in calculus for grade 12. We'll begin with this particular video where basic concentration is to understand the first derivative. Now when you have come to the end, I think we can look backwards and see what we really learn. So the question for you is, provide following information about f of x from its first derivative. You are given the graph of the derivative. So this cubic function shown is actually graph of the first derivative of the function. Based on this graph, you have to answer the questions listed here. Increasing interval of f of x, decreasing interval of f of x, turning points of f of x, maximum is at what? Minimum is at what? Concave up interval and concave down interval and the points of inflection, if any, for the function f of x. You can always pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. So I hope you got some of them. Now let's begin and understand. There are a few common mistakes which students might do. They may just treat this as the function and answer the questions incorrectly. Remember, this graph is of the first derivative of the function, right? Now let's begin with the very first question which says increasing interval of f of x. Now tell me. From the first derivative, how do you find the interval in which the function is increasing? Well, the condition here is that the first derivative should be greater than 0. It should be positive, right? So let me highlight the areas where the first derivative is positive. So those are the intervals where the function is increasing, right? So this is the where first derivative is positive. Do you see that? So that gives you the answer for increasing interval of the function. So it increases from minus 2 to 0 and then after 2. So you can write this answer as from minus 2 to 0 union 2 to infinity, right? So let me write 2 to infinity, just squeeze it in. Decreasing interval is the remaining where the first derivative is less than 0, right? So it is from minus infinity to minus 2 and from 0 to 2, perfect, and from 0 to 2. Turning points. Now, if you have a turning point on the function, in that case, the derivative should be 0, right? So these are the turning points of the function correct so turning point you can figure out as the first derivative being equal to zero and these are at x equals to plus minus two and zero right so right zero and plus minus two so i hope till now there is no problem in understanding that should fetch you 10 marks in your final exam this question can be asked in different ways now maximum is at what and minimum is at work. That is very critical. I would like you to see the first derivative in a different fashion. So what we have here, let me show it on a number line as we normally test the first derivative, right? So we'll kind of test our first derivative as we do while curve sketching, right? So what we notice here is that we have zeros at minus two, 0 and plus 2. Perfect. And we do have intervals where the first derivative is either increasing or decreasing. Correct? So as you can see, from minus infinity to 2, first derivative is negative, right? So going down. So the function is decreasing. So this green line is for the function, which we already showed here, right? 
after 2 it is positive that means the function is increasing then the function is decreasing and then the function is again increasing now that clearly gives you points where we could have absolute or local maximum or minimum right we'll not confuse ourselves but mention this as local minimum is it okay that is also a local minimum the point where the derivative or the function changes from increasing to decreasing right or the derivative changes from positive to negative that gives you local maximum is that clear so from the first derivative graph you can easily figure out these points so we can write maximum is at x equals to x equals to what zero on the function f of x right and minimum we have at minus 2 these are the critical numbers do you see that so we have critical numbers at x equals to plus minus 2 and 0 so those are the points where we could have maximum or minimum i hope the concept is clear Perfect. now let's look to a concave up interval concave down interval and point of inflection so let me take this opportunity to first talk about point of inflection so point of inflection basically is change in concave where do you think concavity changes well if you look at the graph what we notice here is that this portion is okay where do you think the concavity changes this is the okay this is the graph of the first derivative it is a good idea to actually develop or to draw the second derivative of the function that is one thing you could do second you should note that at the point where the concavity changes the first derivative will have maximum or minimum right so that could give you idea. okay so anyway what we are going to do here is to answer this portion we'll actually sketch the second derivative and then easily we can answer the last three parts of this question right so how do we sketch derivative of a function well let's begin with the turning points so on the second derivative i'm going to sketch second derivative now to answer these three is that okay now these turning points result into zeros right so these turning points result into zeros as you can see before the turning point the derivative is increasing and therefore till this point derivative of this graph should be positive right so we have positive here but this interval is decreasing so we have negative in this interval and after this it is again positive so what we get here actually is a parabola which could look like something like this so i'm just making a rough sketch of this parabola so this parabola is the graph of second derivative and from here we are going to answer the next three questions let's see how so let's analyze the second derivative now in the second derivative you notice that we have a zero let's call this point as a this as b since from the graph i mean since the lines are I, we know it's between minus one and minus two and from the symmetry we can say it is one point something okay but anyway we'll call these points at a and b right so what we notice here is that second derivative is positive from minus infinity to a and negative between a and b and then again positive do you see that so that really means when the second derivative is positive the function should be concave up this is concave down and that is concave up now let's try to read what these points a b are 
So let me approximately give their values at let's say minus 1 point let's say 2 and here from symmetry I'll give this point as 1.2 is it okay it could be 1.2 also but the graph is too light to read it in your test you will be able to read this point this point corresponds to the maximum value and that to the minimum value of the derivative that so I'm reading it approximately as minus 1.2 and this is plus 1.2 so what we can now answer is that concave interval is from minus infinity to this point I'll call it a right without giving you uh, some values which may not be exact and then after B do you see that so that is concave of so from B to infinity concave down in between a and b is it okay and the point of inflections are these where the concavity changes so these are the points at x equals to a and x equals to b the concavity changes and we do have point of inflection so i hope that is absolutely clear so from a graph you can actually get all the information of the function itself and that is key to your good understanding of calculus. Now let's move forward and see how to really sketch the first. Now let us summarize our learnings and also sketch the function and the second derivative from the first derivative. So you can actually pause the video. You already know how to sketch the function and the second derivative just as we did in the first part of this video and then check with my solution now let's first sketch the function and then once we do the second derivative we will check our function that's the whole idea right okay so what we discovered that first derivative changes from negative to positive right first derivative let's analyze it here so let's say this is the first derivative correct so these are the critical points these are the critical points what we observe is that here it is negative that means the function should be decreasing increasing decreasing increasing so we have minimum at minus 2 so let me just make a minimum at minus 2 we have a maximum at origin so let's let's just make maximum here is it okay and then a minimum here at plus 2 so i'm just using the symmetry of this and making perfect so based on this and then we also learned about concavity so what we will do here is we'll just connect these points so what we get here is this portion is concave do you see that concave up so here it is concave down and then the concavity changes do you see that concavity changes and then it goes up so we have two points of inflections in this particular graph which are very close to uh, plus minus one concavity changes at these points anyway we do have a rough sketch of the function f of x it makes sense it should look like a degree 4 right so we have f of x which is a quartic function right the derivative is given which is cubic and the second derivative expected should be quadratic perfect now let's try to sketch the second derivative we know these are the turning point of the derivative they should re result into zeros so result into zeros these are the zeros for us perfect during this half the function is actually increasing so it has to be positive now derivative basically is decreasing function second derivative should be negative so we could draw a parabola kind of like this so that becomes the second derivative and you can now compare and see that second derivative changes concavity 
at this point right because it becomes from positive to negative perfect during this interval it is positive and the function is concave up now function is concave down in this interval and then you can see very clearly and then from here it is concave up do you see that so that is how these things are related i hope it makes sense to you feel free to write your comments share your views and if you like and subscribe video that will be great i will also like you to share your test papers with me that will help many students to understand how to attempt a test paper and do fairly well all the best thanks for watching